Can a smartphone really be your main computer? Motorola, Apple and HP have all tried and failed, but Samsung thinks the time is right for another attempt. It's Nero for Android Authority bringing you our Samsung DeX review. Remember the laptop? What about Apple's AirPlay and how it was heralded as the future of smartphone computing? Then last year came HP's Elite X3 desktop. Samsung DeX attempts to fix the biggest issues of these by making DeX more than just a smartphone mirroring experience. DeX works by docking your Galaxy S8 into the DeX station, which then connects to your monitor via HDMI. Before you dock your Galaxy S8 for the first time, however, you need to connect to Samsung fast charger and connect your keyboard and mouse via Bluetooth. The top of the deck station slides down and acts like a fan to prevent overheating when you're using DeX. As good as it is, however, DeX isn't perfect as your smartphone display is disabled when docked, which means you have to rely on the keyboard and mouse for all inputs. In its current form, DeX is a little raw as there's only a handful of optimized apps and Microsoft Office is the highlight of these. Of course, you can open all of the apps that exist on your Android phone and access the entire Google Play catalog. And for the most part, the apps all work as expected. DeX adds the ability to resize windows and while some don't, most apps do support it. Some apps have been optimized, either directly for DeX or natively in the Android app, to offer responsive designs or desktop experiences. But for most, you'll be using the same app that you find on your phone. The browsing experience is seemingly on par with Google Chrome, with Samsung's own browser optimized a little better for DeX than Google's. However, there's a touch of latency when scrolling browser windows, and this also persists when typing in Microsoft Word. When moving away from your docked phone, DeX follows the same security preferences you set up on the phone. So if you're using iris recognition with a fingerprint alternative and pin backup like myself, you'll be able to use any of the three options to unlock your phone. Using the fingerprint sensor can be awkward as you have to reach around the back of the phone. While using iris recognition may mean you need to tilt the phone so it's in the right position. So should you buy DeX? Honestly, for most people, it won't be worth it. But if you're someone who prefers mobility over raw performance, then it could be good for you. At a cost of $150 plus all peripherals, it's definitely not cheap. And considering the cost of the Galaxy S8, most people will be better off buying a powerful laptop and mid-range smartphone for the same cost. All that said, DeX is a rather cool accessory and shows just how close we've come to perfecting the smartphone as a PC experience. It's not perfect and it remains to be seen whether it will be widely adopted, but it definitely has the potential to be useful. To use DeX, you'll need the Galaxy S8, so check out our full Galaxy S8 review and let us know if you think the DeX experience is worth buying. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and head over to androidauthority.com for a lot more on the Galaxy S8. See you in the next one.